Hello, I'm Professor Mark Whiteley of the Whiteley Clinic. Today I'm going to talk about venous leg ulcers. Somewhere around 500,000 people in the UK suffer from venous leg ulcers. Traditionally, the treatment for venous leg ulcers is a dressing followed by compression. And you'll hear people say that compression is the standard treatment for leg ulcers. That was true up until about 1992 when it was discovered that most venous leg ulcers are actually caused by varicose veins or hidden varicose veins. Of course we can now cure varicose veins and therefore we can cure venous leg ulcers merely by treating these varicose veins with the new local anaesthetic treatments we have. This isn't just my opinion, there are two randomised studies from the UK proving that venous leg ulcers heal faster and are less likely to come back if they're treated by endovenous surgery. It's also nice guidelines that anyone with a venous leg ulcer, even if it's healed, should be referred to a specialist center, such as the Whiteley Clinic. Therefore, I've written a book that simplifies this called Leg Ulcer Treatment Revolution. If the messages in the Leg Ulcer Treatment Revolution book were taken on board, the NHS in the UK would save about two to three billion pounds a year. And all those people with leg ulcers, somewhere between 60 and 80% would be permanently cured. We could say goodbye to compression in the majority of people. If you want to know more, the book is available on Amazon, or you can just go to the Whiteley Clinic website and read about leg ulcers and how we cure them nowadays.